Hey guys, welcome back to Alex's Reef. Uh, my name's Alex. So I picked up a couple corals a few days after I last uploaded that video. Um, put them up on Instagram uh, to notify as soon as I had gotten them and, and been putting this video together for a while now. Uh, I did pick up a green leather there. I picked up a uh, branch of uh, Octospawn. Um, and then it also had a couple of uh, little Zoas with it. Picked up a... Uh, nuclear patch of zoas there um there's actually like a uh, shell of a clam that's on there that uh, a cleaner clam that has done died out and long gone but uh the owner had this and there's uh, zoas on one side and zoas on the other side so i figured i'd go ahead and get that uh quite a bit of <clears throat> bit of heads for it being on a little plug uh now she was selling this uh octo spawn for 30 bucks but didn't even know that she had the the zoas on there so she just went ahead and you know gave it to me uh actually for half off so i picked it up for 15 picked up the leather for 15 and then picked up those zoas for 10. now by the time i got home uh everything was pretty cold so i was floating them here to kind of acclimate them the pressure to the temperature uh one thing that i did fail to mention though is that this here leather actually did not come from the same uh, LFS as the other two did, the uh, Octo and the, the Zoas. Uh, the leather is actually bought from another supplier and I kind of was hesitant to it as there was some uh, algae on it as well as it, it you know the, the plug just didn't look very good but I picked it up I kind of wanted the leather and that's kind of come back to bite me in the butt uh, and, and I'll explain why later. All right, so here we go after I got them out of the bags. Uh, sorry, guys, I did lose the uh, footage of me getting them dipped. Uh, but this is after I got them dipped. I put them into the tank. And since there was some algae on that plug, I went ahead and uh, got uh, an Asaria snail there and uh, put him down there and let him just go to town. And he pretty much cleaned that plug off. Uh, but one thing I do know is that after the dip... Uh, that frag of that leather uh, was no longer green. Um, going into the dip, it had green coloration to it. Coming out of the dip, it was completely grayed out. Uh, I was worried that it wasn't going to make it. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, there was also some slime coming off of that octo spawn as well. So, so as we come to the next day, uh, you can see the uh, everything's coming out a little bit better. Uh, when I originally purchased this octospawn, I was unaware that there was a one main head and actually a baby head sprouting off to it. It was really big and bushy, uh, so I, I didn't see that. My goal, though, is to trim down that stock and take those zoas or pallies on there and move them over to the rock by themselves. And then the same for the other zoas is put them somewhere else as well. Uh, but as you can see, everything else in the tank is doing good. And there's the conch hiding out in the front. Uh, but as you could tell as we panned over to the right, there was no leather, and he said that would bite me in the butt. Uh, that leather, the very next day that I got up and checked the tank and checked on these frags, it was literally just melting away, and the tops of it had fallen off, and yeah, it, it was really bad. So coming back to it, the, get, the day later after the checkup, uh, everything's kind of out and bushy. Uh, everything's doing better and the zoas are actually coming out more uh, and like I said it had two uh, one big head and one small head on that octo spawn I really hope that doesn't disqualify me from the challenge although it kind of is against the rules as it was supposed to be one head unfortunately I wish I would have paid a little bit more attention from when I bought that if it knocks me out of a uh, Rico's nano tank challenge uh, it is what it is. If, if not, then I'll be grateful that they let me stay. Now, one thing that I have had a problem with is the Nerite snails that I bought. Uh, those little suckers love to roam outside the water, and because they hold water inside their shell with them, they can live outside of the tank for quite a while. And so I had three of them. I still have three of them. But on a daily basis, it is the hunt for where did the Nairit snail go to. Um, and it's pretty interesting where some of them end up. But most of the time, it's not too far away. It's just normally in the back of the tank somewhere. Uh, earlier, you did see that there was a uh, little starfish um, that came in on that frag. That starfish that came in on that frag did not make it. Uh, this starfish actually happened to probably come in when I added those... Uh, those uh, Asaria snails a while back 
Uh, my local LFS that I did buy these frags from, uh, she actually has quite a bit of these in the tank. And uh, she never bothers to even remove them. Uh, she actually keeps them there for det detritus and the algae. Um, so if they become a pain, then I'll figure out what to do with them. But for right now, they're not bothering anything. And as you can see, there's some diatoms going on on the rocks. Um, I think when I had that order come in from reefcleaners.org, I think some of the livestock has slowly started to die off from that. And I have been trying to find them and take them out as it's been happening. Uh, but it is causing an issue. But other than that, everybody else in the tank is doing fine. And I am managing to keep levels within check. Hey guys, just taking a look at the uh, skimmer cup here for my uh, Toons Nano skimmer. As you can see, it kind of pulled out some dark skim eight. Uh, kind of a tea green tan with chunks in it. Uh, there for a little bit, it was taking me a little while to get it adjusted, just trying to find that sweet spot. Um, it, it is kind of finicky uh, when it comes to it, but when it's, I mean, most of the time it's hitting pretty spot on and it works fantastic, so I do like it. Uh, just checking up again on a day later. Uh, of course, the uh, Octo Spawn is out and bushy, ready to go. I did move this here, uh, Sarah Snell down. He's kind of been moving around on the rocks a little bit. I don't know if he's going to make it from that uh, reefcleaners.org order. And here's a Nairite snail. Uh, he was a bad boy. I found him all the way on the GFC outlet or GFCI outlet. Um, just chilling out over there on the power supply. Uh, so he kind of had to be put back in on the tank and I put him there on the rock. Uh, and just kind of checking around the tank real quick to see the, the yellow uh, clown goby just hanging out inside the rock there um, as well. And just nothing really going on back here. Uh, I tried to get a picture of it, but one of the hermit crabs uh, had actually shed its exoskeleton and left it in the back there. And normally I would take that stuff out, but in those exoskeletons there's quite a bit of calcium. Um, and so like when shrimp shed and stuff like that, a lot of people will leave those in the tank uh, just so that uh, they can re-eat the calcium from that. And so I've left it there. I might take it out if they don't consume it over a couple of days, but it's sitting in the back really not causing a problem. But other than that, everything's going good. Thanks, guys.